Now past tense is where it gets weird, so bear with me because technically we're learning this together. Lay is the past tense of lie. So for continuity and for the sake of me actually giving you correct information, I'm going to base my examples around the examples that Grammar Girl has up on her Quick and Dirty Tips website. Okay, so with past tense, lay means something different and it makes sentences sound weird. For example, last week, Steve lay down on the floor or the cat lay in the mud after it rained yesterday. I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but those sentences sound extremely awkward. To extend it further, the past participle of lie is lain. So those examples would be, Steve has lain on the floor for days, or the cat has lain in the mud for hours. I don't, uh, I don't know. They sound a little weird, but that's the correct way to use a lie in the past tense. Switching gears, the past tense of lay, remember using the direct object, is laid and is what I think we're more commonly used to hearing. For example, last week Steve laid the TPS reports on your desk or the woman forcefully laid her ring on the table. Makes sense, right? I think that's one of the easiest ones to remember. And here's the even easier part. The past participle of lay is also laid. So one example would be Steve has laid the TPS reports on your desk or the woman has forcefully laid her ring on the table. I highly suggest checking out the links that I provided in the doobly-doo and read up on all things lay versus lie. Thank you for watching and I will see you on Sunday.